In this video, I'm going to show you how you can withdraw the funds in your PayPal, I mean the money in your PayPal, and be able to receive it in cash. I mean, receive the money in your hands and be able to change it in the so-called black market rates via a bookie rates. Previously, I've made a video on how you can create a PayPal account that can send and receive funds if you're living in Nigeria or any African country. We have also made a video on how you can link your card to your PayPal account and the very best card for your PayPal account. So make sure you watch that video in case you've not watched that video. That video showed you the best card you can use for your PayPal account, how you can link that card and how you can get that card within 30 minutes. So if you've not watched that video, make sure you watch that video and I'm going to put it at the end of this video for those of you that have not watched it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can withdraw your PayPal funds, the money in your PayPal and have your money in your hands. This is my PayPal account and without wasting much of your time, let me put it at the in this particular PayPal account so that we can withdraw the money in this video. Just give me a few seconds. You notice that the account is 0.00 and there's nothing like send money or transfer money button under this 0.00 USD. But once I add money to this account, you will see is either send money or transfer money under this 0.00 USD. So let me quickly add money to this PayPal account. I have now funded my account and as you guys can see, I now have $18.23 inside my PayPal account. And the send button, the send money button is now showing under this money. So if you want to get this money cash, if you want to withdraw this money and have it in your hands, what you need to do is you click on this send money button. Once you click on this send money button, it's going to bring you to the next page, which is going to tell you to select the card where you want to send this money to, okay? That is why I said you have to watch that video and know how to link your prepared card to your PayPal account. Once you link your prepared card and put the four-digit code that is going to be sent to your phone, not your statement of account, okay? I will inform you about that later. You will now select the card. Once you select the card, you click on Next. Once you click on Next, you will now put the amount you want to send. Once you put the amount you want to send, let me just send all this money, $18.23. Once you now put it, you will now click on next. Once you click on next, it's going to bring you up to another page where you're going to click on transfer the exact amount that you're going to send to your prepared card. Transfer the amount now. But please have in mind that whenever you're transferring funds from your PayPal account to your prepared card, there's always a charge. There's always a transaction fee that you're meant to pay. As you guys can see in this video, what I'm transferring is 18.23. But what I'll be getting in my account is 13.23. So they are charging like $5 for this transaction. And even if you're transferring up to $1,000, $2,000 or $3,000, they are going to charge you just $5. So have in mind that there's always a transaction fee that you will have to pay. So you will see the amount before you click on transfer the funds. Okay, once you click on transfer the amount now, the funds will be transferred to your prepared card. And this process takes just a few minutes and you receive the money in your prepared card. Meanwhile, I forgot to add something in my previous video on how you can link your card to your PayPal account. When you add your card to your PayPal account, PayPal will tell you that they will send a four-digit code to your bank statement. But no, the four-digit code does not come to your statement. The four-digit code comes to your phone. Yes. But if you link your card to your PayPal, please do not expect the code to come to your statement. The code is going to come to the phone number that you used in opening that particular card. So when PayPal tells you to check for the code in your statement, make sure the phone is switched on because in my own case, I didn't switch that phone on. That is why I didn't get that code when I made that particular video. The same that I used in opening that particular card was in a modem i was using it for an internet so it was later when i brought out that sim i put it in a phone i saw the code the four digit code in my phone okay so once you have your money in your prepared card and you want to have your cash in your hands just walk into a new uba bank draft a brief letter that you want some money from your prepared card or you want all the money and address it to the bank manager of the uba bank and within 20 minutes you have your money in your hands check it out you will cash out if this is your very first time of watching my video, my name is Asuki Ken McKinsley and on this channel I give you tips and solutions on how you can make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space. But during the weekends, I give you updates on new games and apps in the virtual reality space.
so you wouldn't want to miss any of my content make sure you hit the subscription button and also the bell button so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video you guys should stay creative and remain blessed